Hello, 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 hello. We are how many minutes? Twenty minutes late. We went to the garden and um, we got delayed talking with other farmers. Okay. Tag your friends. Let's have a talk. Okay. How is everybody doing? Tag, tag, tag. Let's have a discussion this morning. Let's talk about us, 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 us. Well, us, um, yes. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Mm. Ah, it's been a tough day. Where's <laughs> <laughs> Lima? Uh, yeah. To Lima, yeah. when you come to um, go my live show, hey, it's not easy. I'm trying to juggle fifty things. It's not easy. All right, do you start? Yes. We are starting. So how is everyone doing? Today we are... Today we are tired. Tired? <laughs> tired from what, Montau? From digging. Uh -huh. From the... Sh went to the shamba, it was not easy, man. Mm -hmm. Abu, no complain to you, shamba? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I complain to me, choka. Hey! Mother to Nikulala, too. Bye -bye. Mm -hmm. I need, like, a massage. Mm -hmm. The parlor, mm -hmm. massage parlors are clean. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to oil. Unikande you pande moja. Konza na jeni kona lima na side. Tasa naskia. Rose, the team is not here. The team went to the beach today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, our tag team. Yeah. So today we wanted to talk about us and our relationships. In fact, you you wanted to slightly change the topic. Mm. How do you want to change it? But we'll still discuss what we wanted to discuss. No, we can go through the, your points. Mm. But uh, there's one, one major one. Okay. Yeah. So we are not family counselors. Um, my name is Penny. This is Abraham. I'm Abu. We are Abraham. just um, you're call two me. people that we've been hanging out together for quite some time. We have four children. The children are out today. They went out with their friends. Two of them. Yeah. Two are, are gone. Two are here. Yeah, but... Two are here. We just like to talk about real lives because we didn't go to school for this. We're just living no, with regular we, people. Our profession is different from this. But I think we're trying. We're trying to be... Real. The life. <laughs> what we're living. The life yeah, we're yeah. We, we, we just talk talk what we know. Yeah. Yeah. It may be wrong. Okay. It may be right. It's yeah. just, just our, our but, experiences. I yes. think we should say we talk our experiences. Yes. So I, I have my notes ready. Mm, and I can see. You can you can just start with what you want to say because I think it's he, it, it's weighing heavily on your heart. Very heavy. After the machine of Lima. So in the past, I think it should be one week or so. We've been listening to one classic um one oh five F FM. From Nairobi. From yeah. Nairobi. Yeah. And um, yeah, yes, we want to believe that the show is real. And we, I, I also told you that I really believe some of the things because I, I talk to a lot of people and those problems are actually real. Yeah, the show is real. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the callers are real. Mm -hmm. Some may be a little bit um, uh, exaggeration a little bit, but I'm sure those are things that are happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. Real things. 
So, um, the one, the one I think we, we, we listened to and it was, it was uh, very passionate going back and forth mm -hmm. was about uh, men not getting respect in their household mm -hmm. from their spouses. Yeah. And I think uh, when they were talking about it, they were talking about big men. Uh, the guy is a CEO. You, you command respect at work. You command That's a right. lot of um, uh, attention, a lot Out of respect. There. People, mm -hmm. people respect, respect you. you. Like, you know, kwa nyumba, uh, or when, I want to speak in English. When, when, you, when you get to your house, no respect. Zero. Hata yeah. umba you could respect. Yeah. Hata umba zimefundishwa not to respect you. So yeah. that, that, was a big, that was a big thing where uh, I'm at work, I'm being respected. I'm, if you're a CEO or whatever you are, you command so much respect. Mm -hmm. yeah. CFO, engineer. CFO, whatever you are. Yeah. You command so much respect. But when you get in the house, mm -hmm. there's no respect. No respect. Mm -hmm. And do, we were, and yes, so no. Do you know, like at work, you've earned the respect also. Remember, you yes, earned it. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. but also at home, you should have earned it because that's if you, you're doing the right thing. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, you've you've married this woman, you've had kids. The mm -hmm. kids are growing. Mm -hmm. All that should have been. That's that's at least at least you've earned something there. That's what I think. So some women just, I think, to them when they see you, they just know you as as the husband. Yeah. So. As it may be a little bit yes. also mm -hmm. on uh, on the men's side. I think maybe they're expecting too much. Whatever they're getting at work, they expect to get the same. At home, I think it should be realistic also, mm -hmm. just to be on the on the other side. Mm -hmm. That when you get home, mm -hmm. the respect is going to be a little bit different mm -hmm. because you're not paying anybody. I think those people respect you at work because. But you, I think you, you are, earned it because it's uh, yeah. perfected but the respect, your place of the work. The respect at work mm -hmm. maybe because people don't want to get fired. Yeah. You're, you, you, if you, if you're commanding so much power mm -hmm. that you can fire them, yeah. people will give you that respect. Yeah, and they'll even in, in English they say kiss us. Yeah, yeah, they'll be on praising you all the time. Even when they're but not. But at sure. home, mm -hmm. do you know your kids don't know you as a CEO yeah. or the engineer? They just know you as daddy. But, but I think <laughs> even at home you can earn the respect with your spouse, depending yeah. on also what you're doing. Because what I find with a lot of community leaders, including the president, uh, the CEOs, the CFOs. Uh, they, you know, they they take care of everybody else outside and they forget, forget about their yeah. families. So, so those are the ones who are becoming uh, workaholics. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you spend so much time at work yeah. that you forget about home. Yes. You need to balance that. So I think that you should have that balance yeah. of make sure, don't forget your home mm -hmm. so that the respect will be there. Yes. But uh, there are some women who just want to dis disrespect you for no reason. Yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. Like, there, are some, I, I think, there are some who just want to put you down. I think even the mm -hmm. besides the radio station, even from the experiences, even mm -hmm. us around us, the mm -hmm. people you interact with. Mm -hmm. I was telling you the other day that uh, when we were growing up, women didn't uh, publicly just drink and go to bars and drink as much as they drink. Now in America, I don't know about Kenya. We we have a lot of house parties, and I see a lot of couples getting drunk mm -hmm. in a function. And the woman becomes disrespectful because she's drunk or the woman is more drunk than the husband mm -hmm. and or you're sitting somewhere in somebody's house you're having a conversation and the woman starts bringing all the business from the house yep. and putting you down Bring in front in of public. your friends yes you know and especially men we don't like that yeah if if um if you are and at least if there's any issues yeah we we, we know how to deal them privately you don't want anybody to know. Not in public. Yeah. Okay. Maybe later down down the but road also when everything you, you've in, you've you've disrespected your wife. You've disrespected mm. your kids. You've ignored all of them. Yes. Some people they feel that that is the space they can get to. Yes, because to express we, themselves. Yes, because yeah. you're not doing it in in, in, a, in a public space. Yeah. Yeah. So everything is private. So yeah. men are very private. Yeah. Yeah. So so while you're talking about men being disrespected. I also think, I listened to a clip uh, this past week, I think it's an old clip where, mm. why are people in uh, abusive relationships? Mm. If you're in an abusive relationship, what is making you stay? Because Those who, I think mm. um, it is even hard to know that you're being abused. Sometimes you don't even know you're being abused mm. or you're in an abusive relationship because... People are telling you, oh, that's normal. All oh, men are like that. Those, are, those people oh, have low oh, self-esteem. Yeah. That's, that, that's probably the reason. Yeah, but you find that society has put so much pressure on people that people are staying in very toxic relationships mm -hmm. where 
you're the CFO, you're the CEO, you don't want me to leave you because your reputation. Exactly. You yeah. see? But now, what we've seen is some of them, they will tend to keep it like that for a while, mm -hmm. but eventually it's going it's, to, if, if there are issues, mm -hmm. eventually it's, it's going to, the weight is going to be too much. It's, it's going to break. Yeah. Yeah. They just, they are, they are those men who want to be seen outside as everything is perfect. Yeah. 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 Which I think that's the wrong thing. If, if, if things are not working in the house, you better fix them. Because no, but I think the outside pressure is so much. That's what makes people but, just yeah. want to stay. I think there's like shame. I don't even understand why it's there still now. Like mm. shame that comes with like, oh, they are divorced. And now mm -hmm. people want to look at the people in a bad way. So Especially if you had a big wedding of 10 million. And you got gifts. <laughs> this one girl was telling me years, when she remembers years. the gifts she got in her wedding. She was, let, let, she, let me stay in this marriage. She just stays. Or <laughs> some people, they don't want to disappoint their parents. You know, like really the question you should ask yourself if you're in an abusive relationship, why mm -hmm. are you there? Mm -hmm. You know, like it's really sad to see people suffering just because they want to make other people happy. Yeah. Or they are doing it for their parents or they don't want to disappoint their parents. Mm -hmm. And it is so difficult until, you know, people stay until they die. Yeah. Some are, are going through like high blood pressure. Some have like... You are, let me say, the thing is this, that you have, you have one life to live. Yeah. So if you keep hanging in there because of outside influence or outside pressure... Yeah you're going to miss a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So you, it's, it's good to do what they call soul searching. Yeah. If, you, if you're not compatible with your uh, significant other, you, you move on. But you know, it's, it, you, you are not the pastor. Yeah. You know, pastors are the ones commanding the community. Pastors so, are the ones... So if I'm the people. pastor and we're having issues, I just hang around. I just no, hang around. the pastors mm. are, and spiritual leaders, and you guys, I don't even know... Who oh, they're telling people watching. not to, not to break up. They're telling people that you must work these things you, out. Well, the thing yeah. is, mm -hmm. the thing is this, that mm -hmm. they, they say, uh, what were Kitambo, the older, the older, older generation, generation, so yeah. our, our fathers, mm. they had issues and they persevered through it. Mm. The, the difference is with the new generation... The first issue that comes, they call it quits. Yeah. So that's that's what they're saying. Maybe the pastors are telling you, try, try to work it out. Yeah. Go through the first hurdle, try to work it out. I think after a while, if you have tried, mm -hmm. it's not working, then move on. Yeah. But some people nowadays, they want, they call it the easy way out. Yeah. So as soon as I see a little problem, the easy way out is divorce. Yeah. Which is, divorce should be the last option. Yeah. Not the first option. Because also sometimes when they are telling you the problem, the problem sounds very petty. Uh, some, of, some of the problems, are, some of them are so small. Yeah. And then you realize you've had the same problem and you didn't divorce or you didn't separate. So what's the big deal? No, but also... Because somebody, you know somebody's little out. thing yeah. might be something big. Yeah. At, at yeah. You, you came in with shoes yeah. in the house. Yeah. Little things. Little things. Yeah, that escalate to be big things. Yes, yes. So, um, I think we all get into relationships uh, hoping for the best. I saw a post where somebody said that they knew after they finished college, mm -hmm. they're going to get a good job and have this nice relationship. And then things just didn't work. But because you... when you get to the house, mm -hmm. you have so many expectations. Mm -hmm. And the, these expectations are but never met. Because they're very high. They're very high. They put the, the, the ceiling, they put the ceiling expectation very, very high. Yeah. Where if you get into, first of all, when you're married, you're yeah. starting zero. Yeah. So you can't expect things. You're working on a new relationship. Yeah. It has to grow. Yeah. So give it a couple of years for it to grow and for you to know you are a significant other. Yeah. For instance, You've known them uh, during dating. Yeah. But you really didn't know them. Somebody was saying that when you meet a man, don't uh, look, go for the money, mm. go for. Don't like, go for um, the looks. Don't go for the looks. Go for like uh, a promising future or something. Like Plan. go for no, like somebody who looks uh, hopeful. Like uh, like their uh, potential. Potential. So I mean, like to be blunt enough, if I marry you and you, if I go for you and you're broke, mm. how long should like? Uh, you should give that person at least three years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> three years because mm -hmm. you're meeting them let's assume in trying. college yeah anyway. college man you, you you know you started dating yeah then you then now you're you're married yeah yeah unless unless during during your marriage your gift is so many things you have to start from 
from scratch. From scratch. Unless you 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 yeah. come from a very rich family. Exactly. Virginia. It doesn't take it doesn't take you two three years to uh to so to be successful. It takes it takes a, it takes a while. So. So the issue number one we have in the relationships is trust. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, I don't even know how much I trust you. You don't trust me. I don't know how much. I was just I digging do. your garden. <laughs> I trust uh, uh, you to some extent. So you hear that to some extent. Yeah. So we, that's the problem. So okay, of course you don't. You can't pa listen. You don't trust somebody hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Because what good. happens if you trust somebody hundred percent and then, and then they, they do fail, something, then, then you're going to have a heart attack. Exactly. Yeah. You should, to an extent. Yeah. Okay. That's so if I tell you yeah. next week I'm going to do something, you should yeah. trust me. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But don't trust hundred percent because yeah. something else can come up. Yeah, and you change. And I change. Yeah. Yes. And you know, I trust that you always tell me the truth. Me, me, uh, is a trust. But, no, you but I you know like sometimes you lie. Pinky. <laughs> I don't like to be. Sometimes I can you lie. And me, uh, I know. But let me, me tell you, some, some, of some of those lies, some of those lies. protect me, tell me exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, you, you don't I'll, want to hurt my feelings. I'll give you a lie. Yeah. So not even to protect you, also I don't want chaos. I don't want uh, machulele. You, you lie to diffuse. Exactly. So, and then later on, after mm -hmm. like six months, mm -hmm. I'll I'll bring the truth okay. as a circle. <laughs> after six months, yeah. Pole pole, just put it in. Yeah. Oh, by the way, remember. Oh, mm -hmm. And then that time, the steam has gone down. Yeah, it depends on the yes. lie. So the trust is like a big thing. If you trust your spouse, uh, you kind of have an easy relationship. Yeah. How come I trust you 100%? Because I don't lie that much. <laughs> I, I I just tell you what, it, I tell you the way it is. And you know what? The other thing they're talking about is an understanding where you understand each other. Mm -hmm. So now you've known me and you understand me properly. So you trust me. If I tell you I'm going to Walmart, you know I'm going to Walmart. If I'm going to... When you, after you stay with someone for some time, mm -hmm. you understand them. Yes. If you understand me... Yes. It's easier to deal with me. Mm -hmm. A lot of couples don't even take time to, to understand, understand each, each other, other yeah. because know now, each other, understand yeah, each other. because now you know my ways. So nothing is really surprising. You you ex you know what to expect. Yes, you once see? once in a while you you bring a surprise. You'll... Every now and then, yes. depending if the devil, you know, just shetani pia na ye lazima ingili. I tell you, yeah, because mm. you should. Yeah, I think I, I know there are couples who end up. Trying to track each other, and and yeah. and, and snooping on on phones, yeah. which brings more issues. So yeah. because there is lack of trust. Yes, you should have that trust where if you tell me if I tell you I've I've gone to A B C D, I'm, I'm at A B C D. Yeah. Now I might end up at E F G H later on, mm -hmm. but I really intended to go to A B C D. Yes. yes. So if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> but you should have some kind of an understanding of your spouse now. You see, for me, and let's talk about the phone briefly. For me, since, you know, we met with no cell phones. Yes. So we started with landline. And, and pagers. And Aye, pager. Somebody used to page me. Yeah. So we, we are on a different <laughs> ball game where I page you, you find a phone, you call yeah, me. Yeah. yeah. The then one one. Call a me. friend of ours, the first time a friend of ours got a phone, and he was he was he was a cheater. He was so happy. I remember he called. Oh, and he called friend, you and our friend. Our friend. <laughs> he called you. He said his cell phone is good. You Na mwambi ni meenda apa? Na niko Atlanta. Niko Atlanta. <laughs> niko Atlanta. Do you remember how? Yes. I don't know if you know. Remember yeah. that incident where this guy was so happy that he could finally move around, and the spouse wasn't going to be able to know where they are. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Back, you yeah. know, with technology, they brought the tracking thing. But not even that. He didn't know that eventually. They of course, to advance. you can't say, listen, you can't say, mm. I'm in Atlanta mm. and you are... And, and, uh, and no, but I'm saying at the time he was mm. happy with the lie because yeah. he could be in Atlanta. And, you know, he could tell the wife he's in New Jersey and he's in Atlanta. Yeah, but listen, you can't... He caught on, caught on Not only that, you're realistic mm. in terms of the distance. You know, yeah. if I, I can't tell you... I'm in, I'm in New Jersey and I'm actually in Atlanta. So if you tell me come back home, it's going to take a while. No, maybe an, uh, they'll tell you they're <laughs> working think, at double ship. I think to them it was like, I'm, I'm going to Maryland, but they go to Atlanta. Yeah. They lie. Yes, they lie. Yeah. yeah. So um, as the cell, cell phones phone. came, I decided that I don't want to 
go through your yes head. yes my and, my so. i think the way the way couples should operate is first of all have that trust i think the trust, when the trust is yeah. not there then mm. we'll start snooping okay your cell phone is your cell phone yeah it should have no i should be i should i should be i should be free to give you my phone yeah. If you want to use it for something else, yeah. but don't go through your phone. My phone. No, no, no. Because you'll see things and you'll misinterpret them. You won't understand you won't the understand. conversation. You understand exactly. Yeah. But the flip side, people have told me that their life has been saved from getting STDs because they caught their spouses cheating through snooping. Yeah, if they were cheating. Because now they were lacking trust. Mm. Maybe they Maybe you give me a reason. Mm. I think that is that different if somebody gives you a reason yes. to look through the phone. Yes, I think once once you start suspecting our issues, mm -hmm. then you will be curious to figure out. If you tell What's me you're going point? to Walmart, mm. and then I really figure out you are in in Jersey City. I know that's where our people are. I did not have a Walmart. Somebody gets with the turnpike in Jersey, Jersey City. City. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then now uh, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll start getting curious and saying, let me let, let me look. Yeah, they find that yeah. they, somebody has another family. Listen, mm. for your phone, I think for your phone right now, you, you use your <laughs> you use your finger fingerprint and your, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. So even nowadays, you can people have improved where you say, you know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a phone and put a, my fingerprint, so they really can't access your phone. Mm. Yeah, and I think you shouldn't be so much secretive in terms of mm -hmm. you are holding on your phone so much. And you're gonna give, start giving them doubts. Mm -hmm. My phone, I I can leave it here. Mm -hmm. You, I think you even know my password. No, I have your yeah. password, so, but I, I'm not even interested. Yes, yes. Let me tell you, mm. so, uh, uh, MC. Before you go, there's somebody who said it's good thing for the young couples to listen. Yes, mm. actually, we're always trying to talk to the young couples because mm. we've been together for 26 years. Some of the lessons we've learned along the way, that's where we share to help somebody else who's starting. Mm. It's more we have a discussion where we are talking so we can uh, like uh, mentor the other people. Mm. Now, you know, somebody told me this, and, and this is what it is. Somebody told me when you go to a forest, mm. don't expect to get chicken. There'll be You'll lions. Be, be lions. Yes. You understand? Yes, the cheetahs, lions. You go, yes. you go to the forest. Yes. You can't go to the forest to look for... Well, they're for, rabbits, but don't be looking for, for pets. domestic, domestic, domestic like, animals. Like small dogs. You're going to get <laughs> cheetahs. You're going to get really, when you enter the forest, you will get that. Mm. If I decided to go to your phone, I might find information. You know, you and your sister, leave alone cheating now. Mm. You and your sister are talking about me. Might be gossiping you. Me. <laughs> or me and my sister are talking about you. Mm. You can come to my phone and find a conversation that I'm speaking to somebody about you, and you really don't want that mm. information shared mm. to mm. to another person. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's not so much also cheating. It is family issues where, of course, where we talk about in-laws, where I'm actually reading your conversation between you and your sister. Mm. I'm reading a conversation between you and your mother. You could be telling your mom, you, you don't have your mom, those ones who have their mothers, they could be telling their mom what they are going through. Mm. And if your wife catches that conversation, she might not like it. Mm. So for me... The mother can be saying, see, I told you to leave her. Uh -huh. I told you she's not good. Even me, you know, I was told to leave you <laughs> and you are being told to be to leave me. <laughs> yep. Remember when the marriage starts, my family mm. is did not just say yes, they yes, want you. Yes. And your family is the same because they are they, they're they, trying to protect you. They saw me with an earring. Yeah. Said, my uh, family <laughs> saw my husband now with an earring and they told me I'm marrying a gay man. <laughs> they were sure he was gay. <laughs> and they did not want anything to do with you. So yeah. you can imagine in now present times, they will be texting me, telling me, mm. that guy is gay. Mm. Don't marry a gay man. Mm. If you see a man with a, a earring, he's a homosexual. Mm. You see? Mm. So it's not so much... Uh, cheating or anything going into your spouse's phone even you coming to my phone you invade my privacy a hundred percent yes and the fact that you're married to someone it doesn't give you permission to know everything you should have that private your own privacy, privacy where you can have your own yes, conversation yes. and that's know? what uh, that's I what most of the phones now end up being um a way of uh, communication between you and somebody else who somebody can anybody can tell you anything mm -hmm. 
Then the other thing is, is caring, you know, like um, I need to be able to know that you care. Mm. Uh, and you need to be able to know that I care. Now, my way of caring is not your way of caring. Mm -hmm. For men, their way of caring is I have respect for you in the community, where whatever you are. That's all they need. And your your sex is sexual needs yeah, are met. met yeah, and food. And food, that's it. We're okay. done. Men, we're done. I'm we're not good. disrespecting you in front of the kids. You see, not 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 you're not asking for so much. Mm -hmm. You will feel cared for because I'm meeting those. They are very simple needs. But the women's needs are a thousand. A lot. Many, so you can try. Is, yeah, a lot. You can try. You are happy. And, 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 uh, and meet you halfway. Meet me halfway, yes, you know. Because they can't. It's, it's sometimes it's just too much. For okay. women. Yeah, for the men now. Yeah. It's too much for us to meet all the expectations. Because there are many. Because there are many. Yeah. So if I if I can meet you seventy percent, yeah. I think I think that seventy percent should be translated to hundred percent. Yes. Because yes. the other thirty percent is really hard. But here's my rule. And and most mm. let me just and, and most men mm. we are not um uh, how do you say well, two things working together? Multitasking. We most men we don't multitask. If I Nimeenda kwa shamba just but today I want to go to the shamba and One thing the at shamba a time. there yeah. the shamba Women do, do many things at the same You guys time. can multitask you can cook and talk at the same time and do so many things Yeah men one dimension Yeah so that's why it's hard to complete all your needs So whatever is left and sometimes men will end up rotating them So I can do the 70% the 30% that is left might be done in another 6 months Yeah and then I, the other 70 comes the other side Okay Mm -hmm. So, but, but I thank find you. At least you understand my rules. You, you know me. I study. I'm the one who's. Uh, I know and you have the notes. I read the books. <laughs> I'm the one in charge of the train. My rule is for married people, and we've practiced this as a couple for a long time. Yeah. You stay <clears throat> one weekend for your children, completely. Mm -hmm. It's your you and your kids. You give your wife her own weekend. Mm -hmm. You're very intentional. Mm -hmm. You even find a uh, childcare. Mm -hmm. And it's you and your wife and yourself. You go from, somewhere. You go somewhere. Yeah? Yes. You give your boys because you need your boys. Mm -hmm. and, and men, if if you're watching, any of you men that don't have friends, you better have. You better have yeah. your friends because women. Otakuambia she doesn't look on aso. Ata father ni tu mende muonge as long as musifanya zile vitu zatabiambaya. But you need to spend time with your friends where you're doing something constructive. That is where you're going to learn about investments. Because also you're picking good friends. Mm -hmm. You're not picking any other friends. Mm -hmm. You can have time for your friends who are not ambitious because you don't leave them behind. Have you also your friends that, you know, when you meet... Spread around. They are, they are, they are, mm -hmm. Diversify your friendships. Or a little so bit different than you so you can yeah. learn something new. So if in March, you gave your good friends that you're talking about investment. In April, go to the other friends who are behind because you can also help them bring them to this other group. Mm -hmm. So give that weekend to your to your friends. And then there's that weekend for you for growth. Your weekend for growth, to me, is the weekend you need to visit your sister, mm. is the weekend you need to visit, visit your mother, mm. is, is a weekend for you for your self-growth. We have four weekends in a month. They have been subdivided. They have been subdivided. Okay. And you're but, very, but, like, yeah. seriously intentional yeah, yeah. about it. You don't you don't compromise. You 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 just have it set like that. Mm. Once in a while, you might uh, lose balance because something comes up. Yes. But it, for men, I'm saying for men, mm. if you have that structure for you, it's easier for your for your wife to know that next week I'm with my boys. Mm. Next week I'm going to see my mother. Next week I'm going to to be with. Put the it children. in the calendar. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I think most men. I mean, we we try to do that, mm -hmm. but. Most men don't plan that much ahead. Ahead. And yeah? it's the we, way to go. Yes. It, in the morning. We, we, need, we need to get into that habit where you're planning. Uh, you have a calendar. Because I, I think women have a calendar for the whole month. The planner, yeah. They already, they already know what they're going to do yes. next next weekend. Yes. For us, it's very simultaneous. Maratu mode, you get up and spontaneous. In fact, boom. In fact, let's have you go. ever held a calendar? Like, no, I don't. Things? I have. That, for you my work. the phone. <laughs> My work, my, my work calendar is CEO, CFO. actually let me tell you yeah. men who could do the same thing at because <laughs> your work calendar 
in his plan for even three months mm -hmm. you know the next three months know when the meetings are everything that's we nice should translate that and then you are you are respected you're that's, respected that's Hayden. my uh, yeah. I think I'm going to try that now. Yeah. Try to put in a... <laughs> a calendar. Calendar. Yeah. Yeah. So, look, if we're going to play golf on next you, week... It is intentional. <laughs> You're not just going to surface at your... Oh, to the golf. To the golf. Uh -huh. And me, I'm planning other things. Look, tell Duku, mm. and even call Duku also. Yeah. Tell him so, Duku. So, Duku, Yeah. Uh, that on the field... Range, range, not on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I know ahead of time, so you don't need Which to... Which I think, we're like yeah, I think yeah. it's a good thing yeah. for men to start doing that. I think it's, yeah. it's something good. So there is a, there is a thing... Are things. we in the comments? Yeah. yeah okay. Baba Jackie said hello to you. Hey, Baba Jackie, how are you? Yeah. So <clears throat> there, there are those things that make a relationship. We've spoken about social, where you know you make your time and go socialize with your friends. Uh, we've talked about cognitive planning is when you're intentional. You, you're saying that on mm. such and such a day, we are going to do this. Yes. How you plan your vacation yes. and say on such and such a time, we are going to... to and, the way, and the way I can plan my vacation very well. You plan, you're yeah, great, so. but you, 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 you've you admitted <laughs> here that... Really the one, yeah, the one for uh, for day-to-day -day activities, yeah. uh, Zanyumbani, you and the kids, yeah. everything is spontaneous. But, but also, yeah. I must tell the young people, that in the beginning, you really gave me a headache mm. because oh. me, I had a calendar and you don't have. Yeah. But let me tell you, yeah. those those headaches mm. were good because those were supposed to be happen at that time. No, but you see, I was stressed. Yeah, but that's part of, and, that's part and, of growing and up. And it killed my libido. That's part of growing up. No, but the libido <laughs> is killed. <laughs> you, you love to wake it up again. Listen. It's hard to wake no, it up. No, listen. No, if you knew mm -hmm. earlier, mm -hmm. I'm no. just saying now, what, you, what, you are older. Yes. If you knew earlier mm -hmm. what we are saying now, yes. you so would be young, more intentional. So the young, the, uh, the young couples are out there right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are some things you need to do them when you are young. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. If, if, you are, if you are into clubbing and dancing, go dance at that time. Yeah. If you're not into that, if you want to go to church and, and spend a lot of time in church, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are things for that particular time. Mm. When the time is gone, to do them is very hard. No, so, so I think some of them that you might be talking about, mm -hmm. those were appropriate at that time. And then not, not after you've then had Then you are young with a lot of hot blood. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? So, come a blood in a boil. Now, you know the reason why me and you want to talk? <laughs> yes. It's because we went through that. Mm stage if you have to go back again even don't go before uh, we had the kids yes, we, we were I, together for three years without kids if i go back again, back again i will, let's say the I will time. slow down i won't stop i won't i won't not do that's it. right i will slow down yeah. a little bit because now we have a baby mm -hmm. and with the baby i wasn't working the baby is crying all the time you know mm -hmm. oh that's your uncle yeah, it was, I just tried to call yeah. the, the baby is crying mm -hmm. and I want a break. And you, you are thinking you're providing your paying bills when Friday comes, you want to go. You see? It's club safari. Mm. <laughs> and you know me, I'm waiting for you on the weekend. And you know, you know what you used to say? Mm. That's uh, what was the, you're like, you're, you're going to stay home for what? Okay, now let's speak to so, the young couple now. Yeah, at so now, 50 years old, so a now, young couple that has just had a child. Mm. Yeah, so mm. the best thing right now for a young person is to slow, slow to, down. To use the calendar Yes. after the child has arrived. Because when the child has arrived, yeah. all the things you used to do before, they will they have to change, not not stop. Mm. They have to change a little bit. Mm. Because you, for you, yeah, for you, yeah, oh. sorry guys. For, yeah. for you, for no, you, on a video. Yeah, we have somebody here. So, for for the young person, for the young person who's starting to to start a family, they need to know that once the baby comes, also the woman has changed. You, you have not changed because the woman physically has gone through the changes. The changes. Mm -hmm. I think it's hard for the men because we don't we don't see that. we we see we don't feel the changes. Yes, yes. So it's good for you to. Figure out that hey, the woman has gone through the changes and and they need your support. Yeah. So if I if I can go back now, I think I will slow down some of the things. Yeah. So 
And, and yeah, sometimes surrender. you don't even know. I, I didn't know. Yeah. Now that I know, you, you I can would, tell. I can yeah. tell the young, you know, the, the, the younger people. Yeah. Okay. So the young people listen. Yeah. But here, time. You just balance the time. Yeah, balance it. Okay. And then there is a financial part of it where money just knocks everybody off where I don't know what you're doing with your money. Mm. And, you know, in that video where we saw the Nigerian money talking about he brought this nurse and now she got the money, uh, he, she wants to leave him because she has money. I think financial... Um, most of those men problems, who are... Yes, mm. but, but especially in the U.S., most mm. of those men who end up being very, very frustrated mm. also invested a lot. Financially, financially yeah. in those women. Yeah. So that's why when, when the marriage goes down and yeah. they start breaking up, yeah. the men are very bitter because it's just like anything. Even in, in stock, you, you invest in a stock. When and it goes this, down, yeah, you, you feel some bad. Some people, you know, commit yes, suicide. Yeah. Yes, you mm. feel bad. You, you yeah. put so much uh, trust and so much money in it. Mm. So I think that's what happens, that these women uh, come, they're taken to school, especially now nursing. We're talking about nurses. They go to nursing school, they're done. When, when they're done and they become nurses, they want to leave the, the men mm. for whatever. They, maybe the men were bad. I don't even know. Yesterday I was asking, but what if, about if women who become engineers? Do they ever run away? We rarely. <laughs> Why? How come engineer don't women this. don't run away? They, it's the field? <laughs> it's the field. <laughs> uh, because these men spend so much, mm. yeah, okay. and they feel betrayed. Mm. So they end up getting very frustrated. But I, but I always say, so if, if, you, if you didn't want the man, mm. even from the beginning when they're telling you, let me take you to school, you should tell them, no, I don't, I, I don't want you. But then you see, you do those favors with high expectations. And if the expectations are not met, you mm. feel bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's another issue is problem solving as a, as a, as a couple, couple mm -hmm. when you're having problems. <clears throat> I remember that I used to, to use silence. Silent treatment. Yeah, yes. I think it's one of the worst. Yes. Now, now I know you just say one word. Mm. Uh, yes, I, I'm asking so many things. You're, you're just, Giving mm, one word. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, silent. But you know, it's after you've misbehaved. Eh? Yeah, I've misbehaved, yeah. but at least keep talking to me so that I can really know I've, I've really misbehaved. So, and tell me that your silent treatment. So these couples need to find a way to solve their problems you once there's conflict. Yes. Yeah. Silent treatment won't work. You yeah. better you 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 need to listen. You yeah. when there's a problem, even at work. Yeah. You have to you call a meeting. meeting People don't keep about, quiet and, yeah. and look at look at look each at other. Problem. Or you can't be silent at work. Exactly. You see, that's the place of work where yes. you're respected. You yes. call and you. But that's speak. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You need to sit down mm -hmm. with your significant other mm -hmm. and talk. Mm -hmm. Because from the talk, you might be able to resolve the issue. Okay. You give me silent treatment, how mm -hmm. am I going to know yeah. how to resolve the issue? The other issue uh, is marrying people you're not compatible with, uh, where you cannot have a, an, an intellectual. Intellectual discussion. Con conversation. Yeah. But so I, you have nothing yes, to talk about. Yes, yes. So For this one, what I, what I always say is... You find yourself with someone. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. You have to marry somebody who you are compatible with. And, the, and the, the, the only way, to, actually... The easiest way to find somebody who's compatible with you mm. is to look at their upbringing. If you have the same upbringing, you're good to go. Yeah. That's, how, that's what I believe. Yeah. Because if you are raised very differently... It's every, hard. Because remember environment mm. and how you're brought up by your parents, they shape you. Yeah. You are, you are who Whether you, you are. like it or yes. not. Yeah. So if you meet somebody who was raised kind of like the same way as you, you'll have the same values. Yeah, then your marriage will be easy. Yeah. So listen, the young couples, when you're looking for a, a wife, very simple. Just mm -hmm. look at or how they are upbringing, their family bringing. background. Yes. If but it's, if it's people, kind of like the same, this, you're good to go. These people nowadays, they just come with me. They don't even do the homework. That's, that's, the, that's problem. the problem. Yeah. yeah. Better do your homework. Yeah. So the other thing is um, sharing activities. So now, like today, we share an activity. <laughs> Right. Now you're crying. That, that activity. Gardening. <laughs> we bon, bon city, Buruburu. Mm -hmm. You do something we, that yes. you share. But it's good. You yeah. know what? It's, uh, it's, it's not something that I've done a before. lot. Before. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Even here. That, but. Yeah. Tell him we're coming. Yeah. Yeah. We're coming. Yeah. Yes. Wait. So. Yeah. Let me tell you. As an African. Everybody. Had a no shago. 
Very few of us who did Abu Shaku. So, but you didn't you, do much. I, I did. But you tell you, my mom, as I told you before, mm. we used to go uh, shags April and December. Mm. Okay, the only the only holiday that I was in Nairobi was August. So yeah. we used to go twice. Yeah. So Kulima was there, and my mom used to tell us, "You have to go and dig." So, yeah. but the shared activities, you know, now. First of all, you know, when I married you, I yes. felt like I, I achieved something. Yeah, because I'm marrying a boy from Nairobi. From Buruburu. And you know, everybody from Nairobi was rich. <laughs> so, you know, that kind of mentality. So now that we are sharing an activity, uh, I find uh, that you you really don't know about this. About digging. <laughs> the digging. Let me tell Even you. Even the plants. I can you want to talk about the plant you put in the garden? Which one? With the plastic. Ah, no. Forget okay. about that one. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Everybody has their talent. Yeah, okay? what so they like to do. Yes, what they like to do. Yeah. So even some of the activities, I can I can take you to the park. We walk. I think you like. I used to like go to Uru you, Park. I used to go to like, Uru Park and row the boat. You like hanging out, yes. so I can join you hanging out. Yes. That's like your yeah, your activity. Like we so go one, somewhere. Yes. We go somewhere and sit and do nothing. Yeah. So once boat. in a while. That is very stressful. <laughs> once in a while, you should um. I join you. Take your significant other and. Do something together, mm -hmm. okay? Well, th maybe this week do something that she likes. Mm -hmm. Next week do something that I like, mm -hmm. and life goes on. The other thing is creating structure, which that's the the thing you said about uh, family background. Where like I grew up with structure, mm -hmm. you grew up with structure, very. And I think it's been so helpful. The home you came from yes. was very much similar mm -hmm. to what you had. To what I had. Yes. So when you have structure, so that in the compatibility home is there. Is very easy because <laughs> now without structure in a marriage you've lost everything. You mm. can't just wake up every morning and say, today I'm doing this. You have to have like at least something that works. The calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Curriculum. Curriculum. <laughs> and... That was there. We grew up with it. We do every time when we close school. Mm -hmm. Before we open school, there's a big meeting. Mm -hmm. After we close school, there's a big meeting. Yeah. That my dad had to chair. So that was there. So Jirani he... Jimmy is asking how we are doing. You know, Oh, I, Jimmy, we are, we are good. I discovered that the boys from urban areas, mm. can I name like the estates? They are very, they are not into this intimacy of holding hands <laughs> and buying flowers. She, she's going to say what we're Islands. <laughs> Islanders. Islanders. Well, you know, I, I, not even that. It's intimacy. also what you saw. Let's talk about intimacy. Yes, yeah. it's, it's what you saw yeah. growing up. And then. But can you try? Intimacy was mm. very reserved. Even our parents, they didn't want to show intimacy. So that's, that's what we know. Yeah. Because we, we were looking at our parents. Yeah. Okay. The minute that you see somebody holding hands mm. like this, mm. oh, Tunaenda, we are walking. Yeah? yeah, it's shameful even. It was not there. Okay. But so, can we move it up? Now, Alejandro, so now, Alejandro wants so to hold my done, hand what, what, what we've done uh. is we've started watching movies. Yeah. And, and, and learning about romance. Yeah. We started... Uh, Growing up, I think people were reading uh, Mills and Boons, all those... Romance, yes, romance. romance, yeah. And that Can, was in our mind. dinners. And I think we tried to practice it. Otherwise, yeah. we didn't learn from watching. Yeah. There was nothing. Yeah. So there was Zungu here. They grow up, their parents are affection, affectionate in front of and them. And they express their to love. To them, that's it. It's very, it's yeah. very natural, very yeah. normal. So please, women, don't blame us. No, but you can step in. We are trying, but... Yeah. Intimacy by me, bring me to The only intimacy is after you close the room. Ka bedroom ka kifungwa, up on your intimacy. Aya, ka bedroom ka kifungwa fireworks. Fireworks. What's a me, I, said, I, I suggest a style. That one, I think we were talking about it. At, uh, if I bring which, up Which I think, style. I don't know if it's still, uh, to, to me, if you if you come up with a new a style. A new style. I think I should be like, I, ooh. Ah, some men will slap you. They will ask you who taught okay. you this thing. So the problem is this. That's okay. intimacy. Listen, mm. when, you, when you come up and say, uh, let's try this new style, mm -hmm. or, uh, or I'm seeing something, I'd ask you, where did you learn it? Because you can't come up with something unless you've seen it somewhere. No, but you can be creative. If you, you, you are thinking about it. You can be creative. You can be a, you can be creative. In fact, now what to mourn? See somebody created it. Then that's same. So you can Listen, be creative. So too. now when mm. I when when you come up with that mm. and I ask you, mm. you shouldn't be afraid to say I I saw it from A B C D. Yeah. Because you I. But must you know where I got it from? I think some men will want to know. No, but no, they will. They are, uh, you can be creative. no, 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 no. We, we don't want to know. We're just asking, hey, okay, 
where where did, where did this one come from? Yeah, because yeah. that's insecurity. And the same thing. That's insecurity. I think also if you, if you if you ask me, she wouldn't say either you are watching a video or you, the the worst thing now you'll hear is uh, my friend told me. So you are discussing your your husband. So I think most people don't want to say it because they'll end up with more issues. Yeah. Because they'll, they'll, they'll ask, they'll answer them. But I think that, 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 is, that has led to a lot of infidelity because a lot of people, they will try, and Alejandro is willing to do certain things mm. and Mbane is not willing. Yes. Apple, you I know, think most, it's really bad. And most men, listen, mm. most men, especially the ones who are married, mm. they always say uh, there are some things mm. that is like disrespectful to your mm. wife. Mm. Okay? Mm. In Nyumbani, they want to say, my husband is a slave queen mm. and side chicks. Yes. Because they say, Kumbe, the wife wants that one. Yeah. 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 You want it. Yeah. So you should be able to say to tell me. No, but I now another guy told me that, that, you, must lay queen that you men respect your wives. Yes. There are things you don't want to try at all. Because you keep saying, we need you mama. mama. You know, I mama keep Brandon. calling you Mama Brandon, Mama. Then I'm like, okay. Mm. Let me tell you, there, mm. there are some styles that you end up, you might break your, your, your wife. Uh, but you want to break the snake queen. Because you're going, you're leaving them there and you're coming uh, back home. Now you break, that's very bad. you break your wife's no, but try. pelvic bone. Then now you have to go to hospital. <laughs> Remember that one weekend you're supposed to leave your house? Now COVID is here. That's when you try those things. But do you break this snake queen's back? Some of them, I don't, I don't know about But them. anyway, while we are there, can we talk about hygiene? Some of you men are very dirty. How about that? Yes, yes. Yeah, like yeah. you don't brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. yeah, men, the hygiene is bad. Right and, now you're and, excused because of COVID. Yes. But I think men have neglected themselves until it's a health issue. Because yeah. to, to men, yeah. uh, uh, we grew up knowing being clean. It's yeah. a woman thing to be yeah. clean. Yeah. So we had that mentality. Where yeah. which, uh, even coming here, it's not in our mind to try to groom ourselves and keep look nice and clean. I see that was left. Dirty that was left to to the women. To women. Men were they looked like to be dirty, okay? But I think it's time Health. we should know because Health. also being clean is healthy. Yeah. Okay. Being clean is healthy. So I think that needs to be or that mentality needs to come out of our heads. But in being in a, in attractive and also you, end up, yeah, you have to groom yourself. You know, be like uh, Alejandro and uh, and and also and, and, and the Spanish or Spaniel. It looks so nice and clean. The big stomach, Kingani is saying that it's a statement <laughs> stomach. <laughs> if your wife is uh, gained weight, you have an issue with that. Yeah. But when your the husband gains the weight, it's not an issue. Yeah, I think that is, is something that really needs to be talked about because. As, as much as you want me to look attractive, mm -hmm. you also you need also to want, look attractive. Yeah, yeah. And even you ladies, there is no need to neglect yourself. You understand? There is no need for and the man and, to neglect himself. And ladies also need to tell their men. Mm. Because sometimes the men, we don't know. It might just be hanging out. and Yeah, you need to tell yes. me, hey, look, uh, the, uh, you need to work out on it. I okay? can tell you, yes. but also, you know, before I forget, even in bed, I need to give you a feedback. Mm -hmm. on your job performance yes you know once some men like like just to do bad bad yes, stuff once in a while, get... and they think they did a good job <laughs> they need to know that mm -mm. but the feedback yes should, it should be it should be a positive feedback it's not positive <laughs> <laughs> hey my god let me tell you at least, yeah. at least you should try wait to... <laughs> many you've done bad things <laughs> I okay, need to yeah. tell you that. Uh -uh. The, the younger ones, please let, let it, let's make sure we tell them. That they... You have to communicate that uh, Apple, yes, you are not coming yes, well. Same thing. Don't be men. quiet. Yes. Eh? Same thing. Okay. Yeah. It's it's good to tell your woman, Kama, I could satisfy you. Um, one 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 look, yeah. Yeah. And then you work it. Mm. Don't don't be in your corner crying. Like in most, of the time, most of the time, we are selling it to you. We are not giving you. We are just giving to you to give it to you. Because communication is job. No. Not, we are mad. Yeah. Because you're also, you are bringing other things into mm. the bedroom. Yeah. Issues. The issues should Grades. be left at the door. Hey. At the door. A woman. Yes. Hey. Leave all the issues at the door. In the morning when you wake up, pick them up and... Move on. It is hard for women I to do that. That's the problem. Yeah. So there's the As there's we... the hygiene part. There's the poor. You know, men. I came to find out that men. Every man thinks they are the best sexually. Yeah. But you know you're not. Lazimo, you can get lazim, better. Lazimo jiskia weni mkali. Ata kukis muna paka watu mate. Yeah. Na mate kuna na, na rufu. You know. 
<laughs> watch a few Le, movies. Listen. Watch a few, a few movies. Every man, lazim, lazim uji amini, wewe ni, wewe ni, wewe ni, wewe ni, wewe ni, wewe Yeah. Abu, unafinya mtu ni kwa ipa, mtu anasikia. Una TV kama radio station. Yeah, be gentle. Huh? Are you talking from experience? No, I'm being told stories. Me, I, me, I'm being, me, I married a romantic man as far as I know. But you know some men, they just, eh, they pitch you. Even his kissing, they suction you like a vacuum. Mtu anakunyonya ulimi, ala unasikia hii, hii, kitu kikatika. So, it's good to, to to learn from each other so that you're not changing your 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 man or mm. you're not changing your woman yes you know what i mean yeah. feedback is important feedback is important yeah. but also mm. again uh you should take the feedback positively just the way you, you get feedback at work yes for improvement mm. yes and the feedback should not come with comparisons because i think mm. that's where the problem comes yes. if you start doing comparisons yeah which you don't know now are they comparing me because they're really they're trying somebody else yeah, yeah, yeah. or they're reading somewhere they need to be frank you, you should tell your spouse oh i'm comparing you because i i saw something or i read or, or you don't feel yes. like you you know yes. you can be creative yes. you know like me i'm very creative see, see, well, i'm very more. creative because <laughs> i can create things here on the be on the table you know creativity <laughs> creativity it could be in the garden it could be creativity could be in the kitchen you know mm. how you've been creative with your food you you started a certain way mm. now you're getting better yes. if improvement. you improvement yes. yes now you can make very good food and you know mm. listen mm. how do you improve How well, do by doing it more often. Exactly. Hey, that, you it. know he has switched to the topic yes. now. Pay every for, you, day. for you to improve uh. every day, <laughs> that's the only way. Because <laughs> if you are uh, today, uh. I, I wait for three weeks. No, you uh, can't improve. But that time, that is makes perfect. That is makes perfect. So now, the young couple, especially <laughs> when you're young, yeah, twice a day. The other, t- the other thing you said, <laughs> criticism, which I agree with you, although yeah. I brushed it off. Don't do it like at that time, because for the men. If you're being intimate with someone and then you start bringing negative energy, it just takes the morale away. Yeah. You know what? The slay queens, when they welcome you, they welcome you full force. Ooh, that's what I. That's what I had. Hey, what are you saying? Ooh, uh, like you did it. I had. That ooh. And then you, when you get to the house, <laughs> they're asking you, oh, umekula, oh, babe. <laughs> you in your house, you're getting in the house. There's questions. You're being bombarded. Boom. <laughs> This one, they're asking you. They're not, They're not even asking you for money. Mm. You get there. Mm. This is what I had. Mm. You get, <laughs> you get yeah. there. Uh-huh. They, they're asking you, did you eat? Mm. Mm. They're not asking you, mm. no. Mm. Eventually, they'll, mm. they'll ask you that later on. Mm. But you're welcomed with so much. Eh? Yeah. No, but, uh, but even me, I think that's, that's what I was That's why this... Especially because in Kenya, I think Mpango Wakanda is, is because of a big, No, yeah. but at the same time, even me, personally, mm-hmm. it's worked for me to be nice to you because mm-hmm. I need your help. Yes. So I'm not going to harass you. I just mm-hmm. need you to work with me because I, with, you know, with four children, mm-hmm. I can't be harassed. It's not you. easy. No. A lot of work. And you know, I've had people don't want people with four kids, <laughs> so I have to slow down. <laughs> so we've talked about body hygiene. <laughs> And then there's the discipline, huh? But feedback need to be there from the start. Let's start wondering where the crops uh, uh, that crops up suddenly. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? You just communicate with time. You, you, you know, you can you discuss. Will, and then you'll be free. Once mm-hmm. you're free, once you, once you trust each other and you're free with each other, mm-hmm. nobody's going to you, take. You need to start. Nobody's going to take the criticism in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. Because once I trust you and I know you are, it's it for our benefit. That's why you uh, give me the the, the feedback. I'll be okay. But you th- I think it's good after every session to you sit down Monday notes two minutes before you sleep. <laughs> I ask you how was it? How was the performance? <laughs> I tell uh, you next time. You know you know the way after you bought something mm. they they send you an email yeah. customer rating yeah. between one and ten. Do it in the Give room. Us, yeah. yeah. Na pero na sema leo. Me I'm very seven. good at giving feedback. Yeah. In leo is kwa 8. Ah. Yeah, Ten, yeah. once in a while. <laughs> it's good to give. It's good to give. And even you, mm. you have to give me too. But you say I can also give you a reason why I, my know, performance wasn't you know, very good. Yes. Yeah. Because sometimes you have grudges. Sometimes you are tired. You understand? And let's talk about the things that uh, affect intimacy. The things that affect intimacy is that you're too tired. You know? You're always working. You're the CFO. You're whatever. You don't have time. We have... Um, 
the in-laws. Mm. Oh God, your your mom is all in my face. She pisses me off so much. Your sister is always on me. Your you know like in-laws. In-laws can really be destructive in mm. marriages, <clears throat> and they can interfere with your intimacy. And silent treatment. We talked about that. Mm. And uh, child care. If you said if we had to go back. You'll help me with the kids yes, more. Yes, I think I'll slow down and, and help you a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, but you know yes. I forgive you. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and excess. I know. Oh God, <laughs> you, this guy. Oh. But you know, well, don't, you had good things. Don't paint me like I was. I no, was no, no. Very, you very had bad, good like, things. Like, you are not extremely. Yeah. But you had I mean, good qualities. There was a couple of miss. Uh, bridges that uh, <laughs> that fell down. <laughs> I forgive you, but. <laughs> It is okay. You can let some it things is go. Well, oh. It is well. It is well. I shall <laughs> forgive you. And the other thing is excessive worry. You're always worried. Mm -hmm. Especially when men are broke, they're always worried. When I'm always... And you know men, when they're always broke, they start bringing problems in the house. But it's not, I mean, it's... I think if if you have financial issues... Excessive worry. You're, yeah. going, you're going to be worried. Yeah. And that will... Uh, if that, That's an effect mm -hmm. or to your performance. Yeah. 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 So I think for men, even for women, I think everything has to be stable mm. so that you're also good romantically. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, v is saying that uh, she's uh, watching our show. She's planning to get married and uh, she thinks she's going to do well. You're going to do well. We yeah. did well. That? V? V. Yeah. We did, we, in fact, so far we did well, yeah. right? But that, that's, that ask her, does she have a, a potential? Yeah, you have to interview well. Yeah. yeah. Make sure V interview. Jen, Jen is saying this is great, and uh, Noah, Noah is watching from Nairobi. Noah, who? Noah, my brother. Oh, uh, yes. How does you say CMO? CMO. My CMO. CMO is watching. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we are Mesema. Hygiene is very important. Very important. Yeah. Thank we you. are Mesema. Rosa Mesema, creativity is good. You have to be creative. Mm -hmm. And uh, who else? Oh, Jimmy said structure and discipline. Yes. Okay. All those things are very important. The other thing I want to talk about is children. Uh, I listen to a radio where these people keep having children. Every time you turn around, the woman is pregnant. Okay? So, I think also people who are getting into marriage or who are still have eggs to produce, I strongly believe, in fact, that's what worked for well, us. Yes. I strongly believe you should take time to choose to have children. Yes. Let, let us not just have children. And be purposeful about it. About so, it. so even yeah. even say, talk about it and say we want two, three, four. Yes, be very intentional. Yes. So even yeah. if you say six, yeah, and you agree, you should do the yes. six because yes. that's what you've agreed. Yes. I'm really against this thing of people just getting pregnant suddenly. I've always never liked it, mm -hmm. and if it's something people can work with, they need to work on it because all of a sudden you you wanted sex. Me, I'm pregnant. Mm. And I feel like women have the upper hand of pr protecting pregnancy because yes. it's our body. Yes, because most men don't know. You don't know. Yes. You could be going, you could be just, you've seen me and you just want sex. Mm -hmm. You have lust and then we make a child. Yes. And it's the reason they want to say most men are not worried about their kids. Some of them are in shock that they actually made a certain woman pregnant. Mm. So young people or anybody who's having children now, be intentional about having children. Yes. Don't just have kids because kids are draining. Kids need a lot of work. Yes. And yes. if you're not planning, and even us who waited to have kids, when I had my son, I still wanted more help from you. Mm. Even when you knew yes. that the child is coming, yeah. it's like takes you by surprise. So children can take away from from a relationship yeah. if you're not careful. That's why the, the, the newly married couples, mm. I think you should... Um, I think the best will be at least three years. So if you're newly married, give yourself at least two three, to three years yeah. where you are just the two of you, so you can have that Just having time. fun, yeah. And then um, two or three is just, that's the, that's the basic Minimum line. two. Yeah, minimum, okay? Yeah. After that... You, you find a house, yes, yeah. you get to know his yeah. relatives. Some, some will say five years. You know even the two years is enough time to run away. If yeah. you're not good, eh? Yep, yep. yeah. Because I think that's enough time to know. I don't, want, want, I don't want to have kids with this person because this is not yes. what I signed up for. So I think it's good. Yeah. You don't just have children. Have children. Yeah. And then you, the, the man, the man even know. He's just telling them all. Oh, by the way, you're going to be a, a father. Oh, 
What, but did, what did it happen? You even, don't even know what it happened. Even when you're legally married, I think <laughs> it's good to give your children space. You know, like if every time you you turn around, I'm pregnant. You, mm. You're not aware. Mm. I think that's not the issue. The issue is not your children are not yours, but the children even bringing up the kids. The kids need that space. You know, yeah. like you don't. You are having three kids who are crying at the same time. Because you're pregnant well, that, now, yeah. So now, again, yeah. Yeah. That, so that's you. Yeah. There are some people who decide that, hey, they they, they literally, they, they, they sit down, they say, we're going to have kids, and they want to have them back to so back. So now, that's what I'm telling you, so even that, from the this, this child psychology study shows, mm. these kids don't have, if you have a child every year, you don't have time for these children. Mm. Yes, you can do that. Mm. Some people do that so they can... Uh, have child care, yeah. solve child care issues. Yes. And Lorna is saying that some people, the age. Yeah, if exactly. If you're 40, you yeah, have some, to have them back yeah, to some back. Some people, depending yeah. on when, what, you know, uh, your age, some of them will want to have the kids. Those yeah. are special cases. Yes. But we are talking about people who so, are in their 20s. So can you say now, I think in our case, we, we said we were intentional about three years apart. Three years. But you see, we liked party. So <laughs> so the, our first three kids are three years apart. Apart, yeah. So, and, and Mr. Ambuvi, Ryan... Seven years later, <laughs> Mr. Ryan was, we, you know what, you know, you know, we can say that. Mm. Uh, we we had the wedding back back home in Kenya, and mm. then they said, you, we, we have to have that one. <laughs> uh, it's after the wedding. After, was he after the wedding? Yes. Yeah. But you see. But we also also we intentional about that one because not we, even initially that. We, yeah. we, we had sat down and said, I think four is good. It's a good had, number, had, two boys and two yes. girls. Yes, that's 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 what we were thinking about. Yeah. So it's good. Plan about it, and do be, this. Be, be intentional. Be intentional. If you yeah. want to do that spacing, know exactly what you want to do. Yeah. That's gonna help. Uh, Lona, again, being married at forty-two, you you don't have time to wait. That one now, even if you can get pregnant after every five months, you, you not even it. that. <laughs> get pregnant immediately. <laughs> Please do not wait two years. That is very bad advice. You see, that's how advice varies. Yes. We are talking to young, young. couples that are in their 20s. 24. Yeah. Like, I got married at 21. I had a lot of time to wait. Even at 25, I had the first child. Mm -hmm. I still had a lot of time. If you're marrying at 40, please don't take our advice. Because... Immediately. You already... But you, after, know, you know what? Sometimes you... But you know what? The, the ones who are 40, maybe they already have kids. No. Just getting She's talking about the ones who don't have children I, completely. At 40, you have... Back kids. to back. Yes. Give birth... Even, um, but, say, even six months was I... Nine months. Mm. What's told my children are nine months. Mm. <laughs> Back to the time. I tell you. Yeah. Because the, uh, if your intention are ahead of time, you might you might end up, uh, you know, meeting someone. You know, people just don't take marriage seriously. Yes. Some people just keep living and a year goes by, then they find themselves, mm -hmm. they are 40. Mm -hmm. So the earlier you, you know, you marry someone, if you meet someone, just struggle through the problems. And then you, you know, That's you'll true. get your way. So yes. don't, don't be afraid that, you know, looking for the Mr. Right. Mr. Right is nowhere. At 40, there's no Mr. Right and Mrs. Wrong. And Ms. At 40, mm. <laughs> because that time, I mean, 40 is, is really late for... It, you know, to, to... Baba Jackie is saying, mm. children planning is a struggle. For us, yes. for me, no, it was we... a no-no. Yes. I just, I, I couldn't deal. I couldn't, yeah. even carrying pregnancy is a problem, you know? I, I wasn't so Mama Jackie is saying is what? It's a it's struggle. struggle. Yes, it's not it is. easy. It's not easy, but, but it's good. It's good. All, all they're saying right now is for the young, the people. young, the young people. Yeah, be intentional. Be intentional, even if you need to go for counseling. or But you be intentional about having the kids and how you're going to space the them. To space, yeah. yeah. It's, it's going to help you a because lot. Because also even in college, the way we had seen our kids, we wanted our children to overlap. In the middle school, they were overlapping. In the high school, they were overlapping. In college, yes. Yo, so that was intentional. But I did that because you know we we came here young. We saw the system. Mm. So when one child is leaving, the other one is coming. Is joining. Is joining. Yeah, the when the one is a senior, the other one is coming in. When my oldest boy is leaving, the other child is coming in. So at least you have one. They are in high school. Two kids are together. If you if you're having as many kids as we were having. We wanted our kids to help each other like that. So three years was a good a good time. But it's good to be intentional because children are not just, they are not toys. 
there are a lot of work. Yes. And they, they and like they now. They don't come with a manual. No. <laughs> Even college now, uh, the Brandon is supposed to, when he's leaving college, sin is coming into college. Mm -hmm. And if you are, you are going to pay for your kids' college, you should know you're going to have three kids in college at the same time. You know, if you are on mm -hmm. payroll, no, if you have them back to back. Yeah. Oh, if you're going every to year, pop, 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 yeah. all your three kids are going to be in college at the same time. Yeah. So that is another thing. That's financial planning. You have to know that how are you going to pay for college yes. if you have three kids yeah. in college, you know? So you heard about that from okay. the, from the, so the, from other, the children's expert. Uh, no, I am a children expert. I'm very passionate about children and, and I really like to give children their time. Yes. And I focused so much on raising my kids until like a few years ago that I felt like now they are ready to go because they needed that foundation. They need to fly out. They need to fly out. <clears throat> out yeah. I needed to disconnect. And I'm very passionate about uh, planning. You don't just have kids. Yes. You don't just wake yeah. up one morning and you're pregnant. To me, if you don't like that advice, it's okay. You don't have to yeah. subscribe to now, it, but it's not, it's not easy. So... Uh, just just briefly, so if, if you find yourself pregnant and you didn't plan for it, do you advocate for uh, to terminate the baby? No. So that's why some people will end up now keeping the baby because yes. of their belief. Because you they, could be on birth control not, yeah. and then it backfires. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, so it's you're, okay. You're on some kind those, of those accidents are is... fine. It's okay. I'm just saying these are the young people who mm -hmm. are getting into it. Okay. It's okay. You could be on birth control and then it backfires on you. Or you could be doing the Catholic thing mm. and then your day is really, your body changes. You know, Catholics use the safe days. Mm -hmm. you, you just have the baby. It's okay. Those accidents are okay. But it's good to be intentional, you know? Okay. Somebody's asking, my question, Penny, you are married with one kid. Now is a risk, you know? You have to watch this man keenly. How long do you have to wait until... You get pregnant. Oh, sh yeah. Okay, so you're getting your. You already have a baby from the same person, or yeah. Is it, I think is... you marry someone with a, a kid. Oh, you marry somebody with a kid. Yeah, uh, depending on your age, I think we've agreed that depending on your age, if you're forty, you don't have time to wait. Yeah, but I think a question is: let's say, let's say you you had a kid when you were eighteen, when you were young. Mm. Okay, so by the time you are getting married, let's say you get married at twenty-two. The baby is already four years old. Mm. So maybe a question is, do you need to wait? Like, I think because you are married to this person, mm. do the two years so that you know them. I think the two years is yes. standard. The only thing now, this will be your first kid mm. with that person. Maybe mm. the other baby was from somebody else. Mm. That's different. Mm. Yeah. I think you still, you still need to have that two, three years where you're learning each other. Mm. You know the person inside and out and you really want to have this is going to be the father of your children. Because it's very important. I, These kids... Rush it. Yeah. You know... And then you can't blame the kids. You know, we, we, we rush into all these things. And then the kids come out. And then now you're breaking the family. You're going... And then the kids are messed suffering. up. Suffering. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't choose to be born. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Because you know what I knew mm -hmm. about children is what I found out. Mm -hmm. After I had my... Start with pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Pregnancy was so hard for me. I couldn't go to work. Mm -hmm. So you see already... Had you run away, I could have been depressed. Mm -hmm. You see, that, that was my fear, number one. Mm -hmm. Because now, I thought pregnancy was going to be so bad. You know, it was bad. Yes. And you stayed with me. Mm -hmm. So for nine months, I was there, not working, just throwing up. And now the baby came again. The baby's crying. The baby used to cry all the time. <laughs> my God. This one was crying. This <laughs> child was crying. And then the, the man is still hanging out. You understand? <laughs> so whatever I was worried about became true. Mm -hmm. What yeah. if you had run away again? You see, then now the child needs homework. We come home, I need to cook, I need to do homework. All my fears that I was afraid about it's having easy, children, yeah, so it why. was not easy yeah. for me. Yeah. Some people might have it easy, but it was not easy as uh, other parents maybe are having it easy. So mm -hmm. I can't imagine, you. I'm dating you, you're my boyfriend, I become pregnant and you run away and never to find you, and then you yeah. leave me there throwing yeah, so up. It happens. Men have run away mm -hmm. because they didn't plan mm -hmm. to have the baby, mm -hmm. okay? Or, or, or the woman mm. trapped them mm. so, that they, so that they end up marrying them. So that's a problem, okay? Don't, you, don't try to force yourself into a marriage because of pregnancies. So it's, mm. going to be, it's going to be issues. All right, let's pregnancy, move on. Uh, somebody is saying about paying dowry. Marry somebody first legally. Stop just having children. Marry the person. Don't just have children. 
Pay the dowry if the family wants dowry. If you guys pay goats, mm-hmm. even our kissy people are starting to accept goats because some kissy can't afford real cows. Yeah, pay bring, goats. Bring, take mm-hmm. the goats. It's very critical. Even at forty-two, you have to plan. Don't just yes. have kids. Me, yes. I believe that. And I'm yeah, but also, to argue. Oh, yeah, forty-two. But we said forty-two. Mm. You're, you're, it's it's just like you're starting your four one k. The the later you start. They tell you, you have to invest. Invest more. more. So and you can't risk. Yes. Yeah, so at forty two, you, uh-huh. you it was going to be hard for you to wait for three years. You don't have enough time. And also, you are mature enough to know within six months if this person is right or wrong. I think so. Me, I don't advocate, and I'm going to repeat, and I always tell my kids: don't just have children with people. Don't just get pregnant. No. It is a problem. Children do not ask to be born to a bad couple. Mm. Children do not ask that, oh, get, ha- have me with a father who doesn't want me. Father who wanted sex yes. and then you made a child. Yeah. That is that is very bad. Okay. And then uh, I said about making time for each other. Uh, learn together. I said um, sex starts with clothes on. You know, you don't just wait to bed and tell me you, to turn over. Yes, yes. You, you start, start at the garden. The day. Start okay. at the garden when you're digging. <laughs> you're, you're, set, you're looking. Set. <laughs> now this is to you, man. Set realistic goals in bed. Don't just see porn, and then you want to come to Let your me room tell you. And you want to break your wife's back. Let me tell you. Listen, set realistic goals. No, yeah. but also mm. you know men are very visual. Yeah. So we we watch some things. Yeah. And, then and, you want to and, pra- do and practicals. It's, and it's in my head. Yeah. So by the time I'm getting there to bed, you mm-hmm. know, I'm still thinking about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, and let me tell you, sometimes even when the, when we are flipping you, we are we are still remembering that picture. You're not flipping me. <laughs> Gay. You're, Gay. You're flipping this Brazilian woman. <laughs> the way you saw it. So, <laughs> so uh, um, for men, I think it's it's and. I agree with you. Mm. We need to have realistic goals, expectations. expectations, sexual expectations. Especially sexual, yeah. Mm. We should be very realistic. Mm. Okay. The other ones, you just call them fantasy and move on. It's, those are fantasies. But I've told you to set realistic sexual <laughs> expectations. You know what I mean? And uh, we talked about don't make sex a routine. Uh, you know, make time. And... Uh, for intimacy. So, which one did I leave? I, I think we finished all of them. <laughs> we finished each did one. You, did you go through the comments? Yeah, the comments. Yeah. Are, yeah, comments are pretty. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Baba Jackie ch- said child support is very expensive. If you mm. make that child, yes. suddenly yes. you have to pay child support. Child support. And then in this country, you pay for 18, 18 years, yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it 18 years? Mm-hmm. You know, the money is taken before you even see it. Mm. So be very intentional. Somebody said we talk about finances. For us... Finances, for us, that's a whole topic. No, but for us, finances worked. We followed the way Seven-day Adventist teach you, where you get married and you... Put you have a joint account is a simple way to get into marriage. That's the seventh day. Yeah, that's yeah. Know. So uh, now we started that. We started that and it worked. Mm-hmm. Not everybody can work that way. Yes. But it's good to start together because yeah. some people are spenders and Others some people are, are savers. Yes. But it's good to be intentional mm-hmm. where you if if you if you are a spender. If I eat all your money, it's good to control me. So, so you have to try. Yeah. While well, you're trying the two years mm-hmm. not having kids, well, you so, also try to find. Yeah. So I think the the way we had it, or the the way most of the time <laughs> it will work is, you can have that joint account mm-hmm. where you're putting most of the money, mm-hmm. but also you should have your separate account mm-hmm. for your own little things. Yeah. I think that's the best way. Don't. Then you want to buy. There sometimes I, if I'm, I don't want to tap into the main account because yeah. you will see I was buying, where, where was I buying somebody. Yes. Else. Oh my god. Now yeah. you're somewhere. You're buying drinks and mm. so it's good to have. Make sure you put aside a little bit for yourself. Same thing for the woman, but then have one shared place so that everything is seen growing together. But that's just us. I mean, it's some people don't do the. Lona is saying, 
you are just finding out things now. There are so many things you didn't yeah, know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know that on seventh day. <laughs> no, even I have the notes here. All these years, I, I've been, <laughs> I've been raving the marriage. Uh, you tell Lona that you, you thought we are just living. Let, there. Listen, they and, are here. And, and and you know what? For us men, mm. sometimes we don't want to complicate things. You go with the flow. Go with the flow. But the structure, when, when, the when, flow if, was good. if there are a couple of bumps, then you, you slow down each other day. But just go with the flow. Everything is easy. Mm. Life is easy. No, but you see women, like you said, we are always very organized. We already have that's a plan. Why, that's why. Yeah. Even on the day of the wedding or even... Anything. For, for the wedding. Mm. Who plans for a wedding? The woman. The woman. Yeah. So that's no from mm. day one. Because mm. you, you, you just told to show up at the church. Mm. Same I do and move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as simple as that. Somebody is saying, how do you choose the right partner? Interview people. That's Don't when, when you're getting your job, you are interviewed. Many, like, many people. Sometimes can. you go through four interviews. Yeah. Make sure you do that. Yeah. yeah. Interview the person. Don't just take anything. Don't just take anything. And if you take anything and you find out it's difficult, what you, you do? move on. You before, them. before, you go too far. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Sometimes when you go too far, then it becomes an issue. Mm. So that's why I say interview, and once you, you're you learning about them, mm -hmm. if it doesn't look like it's uh, you're compatible, I think you should be free to move on. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't try to change someone or hang in there saying, oh, they'll change after 10 years. No, they won't change. Changing. Yeah, because the way the way that we brought up that's in them. It, it mm. took eighteen years or twenty years mm. for them to get into that habit. It's hard to remove to change it. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying look for somebody who you're compatible with. Mm. It's going to be easy. Somebody who's not, you're going to change him. No. Do you know you one thing? We, we know we had in common that kept us uh, going. Shere. Drinking alcohol. <laughs> can you imagine going to the club, Shere. having a good time? Yeah. So for us, you know, some people have to hide alcohol. They, they don't know, they that's, don't want their spouse to see. Yeah. Yeah. But then that's your spouse, it's not your... You know, I can hide alcohol from my father, mm. but I shouldn't be hiding alcohol from you. Mm. The, you know, your father brought you to this world, or giving that respect. Yeah, but your spouse... Your spouse, spouse mm. is a friend that you met somewhere outside mm. and you're learning about them, that's... Mm. You know, the one thing I really found you attractive mm. when you told me to And I could dance. And you could dance, and you told me drink as much. Ah. I, I was feeling honored. <laughs> Ati, ah, Ati, uh, who you are? Yeah, we go to the club. Chafu ameza. Chafu ameza. Pati ya ya ya, unataka dini. That was so attractive to me, my goodness. I was saying, this is the man. I felt like this is what I've been But I was trying for. to confuse you. I didn't know that, but you see, that's what I, I wanted a man that could allow me to be myself. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to drink when I want to drink. Mm -hmm. And, you know, smoking was also as needed mm. and partying all night. You know, those things you do, like you said, that stage. Yes. I wanted that freedom. Mm. And that freedom at that time, at 20, it was very attractive. Yes. But as you get older, there are things you wouldn't... Like now, if, if I'm in a function and your wife, and I'm so drunk with the kids, you're not going to like that. No, that's a normal. Or we are somewhere and yeah. I'm getting so drunk, you're mm. not going to like mm -hmm. that. And, and Lona is asking... Did you watch the video of the kissy girl that was kicking? And what do you think about it? The, the I, I thought girl. we talked about that. Was it like two she, weeks ago? She must have missed it. Yeah, Lona, we talked about that. Mm. Oh, that's... Number one, she was like a statue. Mm. Then she moves. Yeah, yeah. Not like the you, Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. your take on, on her frustrations or the man's... I you you got happened, a bit a Yeah, bit. I think yeah. what happened was she, she, she had kept those things in for a long so time. Mm. So that's why it's good to communicate. Mm. Don't wait. It's like a pressure cooker. If mm. you keep pressure, keeping all the pressure there, the time you release it is going to be very, very tough or very, very hard. Yeah. So I think the lady was justified because maybe the husband, there were issues yeah. that they never addressed. Yeah. And I think she said that you should have done your homework, which is what we're talking about. Yeah. You should have known who you're married. That's right. Yes. So yeah. she was right in those in those uh, in that yeah. in that particular Because scenario. if you marry a certain I think the only thing family, the, yeah, the only thing was in the video because she's throwing She looks, looks aggressive, yes. but she had a good point. She had a, she had some points. Yeah, yeah. expectations. So Lorna, mm? don't keep things. You need to be talking. Mm. I think the more you communicate, mm. you won't get to that point. Yeah. You'll never get to that point. 
if you communicate more. Yes. And you know when you find out that the woman is a fry kick kicker. <laughs> Don't you, marry them. No, you already married them. <laughs> then how come you didn't know? You found out later. Was she hiding? Yes, yeah, she so was. So that's hiding. a problem now. If yeah. somebody has been hiding mm. their character mm. and and acting all this time, mm. then you can't blame the the person or the, yeah. the other side because they they have been lied to. Yeah. If you met me and I kept telling you I don't drink or, and I'm lying, then later on, that's 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 not your fault. That's my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because you're not telling the yes. truth. Yes, but also you should listen. Once mm. I tell you I don't drink, mm. you should investigate and find out really. Because but if you're lying, I'll find out later. Exactly. No, yeah. one way or the other, you'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. So I think maybe this person didn't do their they didn't do their homework. Baba Jack is like you. He said he's like you. You guys are QA. Your job is to. So you know we analyze. <laughs> That's QA engineers. We analyze. And we, try, we, try to, we try to break and, yeah. and, and look at that thing. Look at that. that does it really work this Critical. way? What about if yeah. I move? If, yes. Yeah. That's how and you, can, you know that works really well yes. when you're, that you works. take your time to mm. evaluate the exactly. person. Exactly. Exactly. And you know the question <clears throat> uh, Modimo asked uh, Kingani mm. or Maina? If you had to pick your spouse. Would you pick the same? If you are, if, take it back. Mm. You do pick the same one. Yeah. That's tough. That's very tough. Yeah. And the other thing is <laughs> accepting. You Who know you me. Yes. No, no, me, me, me. Mm -hmm. You know, you know Penny. Yes. You know the tone of voice. So you know me. You accept uh, you the know. person uh, and and adjust. I think that's the and last And also you need to adjust to my that is the last discussion. Yes. You know when to push and when not to push. I think I uh, listen, mm -hmm. if if everybody would take their their spouse we're talking about non-married people so yeah. if you take your spouse the way they are mm. you this is how they are mm. and you accept it accept everything it. will be fine yeah because once once you, you accept it then you learn mm. to cope with it and deal yeah. with it as yeah. long as it's not abusive yeah okay you don't uh, don't uh, don't don't accept somebody who's abusive yeah but there are a couple of characters because the way they they were the environment they grew in or how they were brought up. Those yeah. those things are in they're inside you. Yeah. You so can't, can't change. You can't change. You can't change. Yeah. You know Lona wants to always downplay. They feel like they, they think I'm the worst spouse worst spouse <laughs> ever. Can you tell them that I'm the best <laughs> wife ever? When, when, when the doors are closed. Oh this... sweetie. <laughs> 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 the best, <laughs> humble, welcoming, eh? That like aggression, all that. Like you are Simba, groomer. That's how it is. Lona. <laughs> Lona is saying the village girls. Just tell Lona <laughs> that with this noise, with this aggression, structure and the discipline is what keeps them bunny home straight. And nowadays you have uh, headphones. Put on yeah. your headphones yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. You, let, you let them talk and talk. I'm this. I'm. The, I'm running this project. <laughs> this family is my project. You understand? Oh no! no you know that that man said, "Don't let that." I think did he say that in that video? Yeah. The guy said, yeah. "I am not your project." Don't make yes. me your project. Man, so like, yeah, yeah. You know, a project. The project manager. That is the project. <laughs> and, and listen, a project, even at work, mm. that's why it's called a project. It has. A lot of moving function, a lot of moving pieces. Mm. Okay, mm. there may be a project manager who's trying to steer the project in one direction, mm. but there's also so many other factors making the project move on. Mm -hmm. So have that concept for the for the for, for the, the family for the family and, yeah. and, and the marriage. It's a yeah. project. Yeah, and let somebody there be a let you can have a project manager, mm. but the manager should know that the other pieces, if this one's fall off, yeah. they won't, there's nothing to manage. Yeah. What are you going to manage if there's yeah. nothing? Yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's my last... Lorna is asking one more question. Lorna, Lo how come you have so many questions I'll, today? You know, she doesn't believe I'm the outstanding Lona, wife. Lorna, she's asking again, mm. how do you handle my mouth? If I keep quiet, you're worried <laughs> if I'm okay, tell her. <laughs> if I decide that today I'm not talking. <laughs> Atileo, <laughs> si yeah. You ask, yeah. are you okay? Yeah, we'll come to you. Yeah, are you? Are you okay? If I keep quiet. Yes. Yeah. Because, mm. and remember, mm. uh, 
sometimes you're talking is not you're not talk, talking to me no i'm just minding my you're minding your business yeah. but you have to talk yeah so i know yeah so that's my business yes yeah uh, she's doing her business yeah it's nothing to do with me you accept the yeah. person and move on you understand? Yeah. if i'm quiet is an issue did i answer your question <laughs> she's wondering how you do <laughs> it T- tell lona things are good things are smiling if you accept the person <laughs> that you've married with their weaknesses with their th- I know your 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 issues. Weakness says they are strange with everything. Them and you live with mine. Yes. You've accepted that you're not trying to change me because I'm not changing for you. Mm. And I don't expect you to change Baba for Jackie me. Say. Baba Jackie is saying t- you know your spouse and you take them the way they are. Yes. Baba yeah. Jackie that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then this thing will work out. Listen mm. to the to the young people. Once you do that, mm. the marriage is I don't want to say it's easy and it's not hard. It's how you make it. Mm. If you accept somebody the way they are, mm. it's going to be easy. And oh. I think for me, marriage looked easy, and I may be wrong. To me, it looked very it's easy. It's been fun. Yeah. It's been wonderful. It's, yeah, there's a couple of ups and, ups downs, and downs. But it's okay. But make sure the ups are more than the downs. Don't live in the valley for too long. If I, I'm drawing a chart. So valley, once in a while, you come out of the valley, you're on top for most of the time. You drop down in the valley. Remember that you're always coming back to the top. Then it will work out. I want to speak to the women. Yeah, please. In speak. the house. Speak to the women. I want to talk to women and then I'll finish with the men. <clears throat> women, if you have sons, let's talk to women who have sons so you can see that how mm. easy that is. Mm. If you have a son, like me, I have three sons. I love my children. I passionately carried my children for nine months. I passionately raised my children and I'm still doing it and I love my sons. Mm. The last thing I want to imagine is somebody marrying my son and mistreating them. That my son will come home and tell me certain things that the woman has done. When I think about that, my heart, I, I skip a bit. I feel a certain way. When my husband has done something, I always try to think about his mother, where the mother is, or his family i always i always remind myself that this is somebody's son and how would have i reacted how would i want someone to treat my son and that has really helped me in some ways so i'm not heartless women we can become heartless but we love our sons your sons are going to be people's husbands your daughters are going to marry somebody's son when you're with your husband when you're giving them them so much when you are arguing when you are having your your regular fights remember that you're married to somebody's child and that child has a mother that hurts has a father that hurts and that goes to the men okay men if you have daughters if you're lucky to have daughters if you don't you have sisters if you don't have sisters you have cousins the woman you're married to you know how you can have your sibling and they are troublesome that your sibling that your sister when somebody mistreats your sister you feel the pain mm-hmm. when somebody is going to mistreat your daughter and make them pregnant and run away or go miss for so many days you you leave your 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 wife for so many days you don't know where mm-hmm. she you know you you're not calling if somebody did that to your your daughter you're going to feel pain yes it's true We need to start putting more emotion into our marriages. The way we love our children is the same way you should love your spouses. When our children make mistakes, we correct them in love. Our children can even go to jail, we bail them out. Our children can even commit a crime, you stand by them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You you supporting them throughout. Stand by your spouse like your own child. Prioritize your husband, prioritize your wife. Your wife. Mm-hmm. Because even from the children you have to protect your husband from the children there's a phase where kids go where they don't like the parents more so the fathers mm. mothers even if you have a bad husband that is not the time to support your children do not support your children that your husband is bad although he's been bad to you and you know like he said he is bad to you not because he wants to be bad to you he's bad to you because he doesn't know any better that's what he knows mm. you understand So your kids are going to get to that stage where they will also make those mistakes. Don't 
punish somebody's son. Don't yeah, look at your husband actually, as your enemy. Yeah, remember, your husband is yes. somebody's son. Yes. Is somebody's brother. Yes. yes. Yeah. And also the men. Forgive remember, your wife is somebody's daughter. daughter. Forgive them. Yes. And love them so much. If it's, it's hygiene, correct them with love. Don't be like someone who's always fighting. You cannot fight your kids. You fight for your kids. You make sure that your kids are fed. So same way you should fight for your... For your spouse. You fight for your marriage. Yes. yes. Because when you are all done, mm. okay, oh. the kids are going to move away mm. and you're going to be the two of you, the yes. way you started. Forgive your spouse. Let things go. Mm. Don't hit your spouse. Be kind. Be gentle. It's not easy. It is something you have to be intentional. And, and the last time we told our viewers mm. that all these years we've been together, you have never verbally abused me. I have never verbally abused you. It's very important for that. It's very... You have to stick to that. Yes. When we are having a, dis a disagreement, I keep quiet or you keep quiet. Yeah. And Kwanza we to... Yeah. You used at your at blood to do what? It is very wrong. <laughs> yeah. You can maintain. And, and you know what happens? Once, once you start that verbal abuse, mm. it will escalate. It will go to physical. Physical, yeah. Because well, once I start abusing you, that means mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it will move on. From verbal, it's going to go to physical. Mm -hmm. So I believe no, no, nobody's physical. They just come and start fighting. Yeah. It starts small. Yeah. And, and when you're abusing, Carol is saying, when, you're, when, when, you're abu when you abuse each other, the children can see. Mm. You know the children can see you're bad. Yeah. You understand? But I'm saying sometimes to, to confirm mm. their fears, mm. it makes it worse. They end up hating the dad. Mm. The kids can see when you're doing bad things. They can come and tell me dad did this. It yeah. is true. Mm. And, and, and some men are in that bad phase for so long until their kids are even adults. And they are still bad to their mother. Mm. But that time, the, that man has made a bad choice. That, that's going to be a bad choice for, on their end. And eventually such marriages end. Mm. Because now the man has refused to change. You know? So the kids can also see. It's not like the kids can't see. The kids can see. But try as much as you can. I'm just saying you don't have to subscribe to, mm. to my views. It is up to you. But it's good to be intentional. The same way we respect our friends, the same way we respect our co-workers, when there's mistakes, putting your spouse down in front of your kids, putting your spouse down in public, in public That's very belittling your spouse, when you're somewhere and you're just uh, exposing them and saying everything, it, it just kills the ego. And always find a couple that is it supporting kills, kills you. It kills the module. It kills everything. <laughs> okay? And when when... It's said and done. When you get as old as people get, they will tell you what goes around, comes what comes on. around. Yeah. Somebody's going to do that to your daughter. Somebody's going to do that to your son. And you know what? You will remember how you treated your husband. And bad doesn't bring good. Two wrongs don't make a right. Yes. Okay. All and right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you very much. We, um, we've it's done one hour. Mm -hmm. More than an hour. It's one hour. Yeah. And so we're we gonna go back to the garden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see us? No, garden? some of us. Some of us are going golfing. So yes. yeah, do you wanna go for golf? No, nothing. No, oh, take me, please. No. Oh, okay. So if accept no for an answer. No, this time I'm not accepting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the range. Yeah. Hello, right. Gloria. Gloria is coming in now. Okay, but we are done. So yeah, guys, thank, thank you guys you. for tuning in. And bring the other topics that you guys want us to talk about. We are not experts. We just we are just regular people. We are not uh, a good, radio station. Good experiences, good and bad. Good and bad. Both. We, ups yeah. and ups and downs. And um, I don't know what we're going to talk about next week. I think. Let the them kids, decide. Yeah. Yeah. You can just tell us. Well, the kids have been going to, to the, <laughs> to the movement for the. Black Lives Matter, so they'll, they maybe they'll have more stories to say. These kids, after they went to that movement, yeah. they've become they become very political. <laughs> it's it's hot, it's in, hot this house. in this house. We Some, are not, we oh are yeah. not even talking. So, so here, they are, they are, we are Republicans and Democrats. Like in we, are, we, are, we are in the Congress. We are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Nona is telling me to be a supporting spouse. Not today. <laughs> and I am not going to go. We'll do that another day. Today. I have orders to do. Guys, thanks for watching. It's always very nice and pleasant. 
Yeah, like and, and uh, tell them to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh yeah, go yeah, to the YouTube sure channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've been in a situation where some spouses have really kept quiet for many years, not wanting to expose their spouses. For how long? For how long can this continue? Surely, no, no. Don't, don't take. Well, that you don't want to uh, air your dirty laundry in public. Mm. But then, if it's an issue, address it privately, and if it can be resolved, then you move on. Move on. Yeah. I think that's why people need to know that divorce or separation is, is it's just, an option. Yeah, it's an option that yeah. you have mm. and should be the final option. Yeah. If it's not working, it's not working. So you yeah. need to go. So it, it, don't stay for 20 years. You're, you're saying, Suffering. I don't want to embarrass him. Ah, embarrass him. Then you're, you're at home, mm. you are, you're hurting. And at home, you're, you have so many issues. Abu, you know, I want to talk about Gloria. You know, Gloria is here. Gloria who? A worry. Remember my friend? Oh, it's Gloria Ori. Oh, Gloria. Ah, uh, Gloria Sasa. Gloria, you came the right time when you're about to end this <laughs> We're show. We're about to leave now, but um, Let Gloria me tell you here. guys it's about Gloria. 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 <laughs> She's 28. Gloria Awori is a friend of mine, a very old friend of mine that I met through her sister. I went to school with her sister. That's how I met Gloria. And when I came to America, I was able to go find her. Gloria used to live in D.C., and it is so funny that you came as we are living. And I, I, I had no friend. I have to speak about Gloria. I had no friend. And so I decided to drive to Washington to visit Gloria. Mm. I had met Gloria when she came home for her wedding through my friend. And Gloria, if you can go, go back, you knew me when I was a single girl. And you tried to help me meet Guys, you mm. know, she I, she had a few candidates. Mm -hmm. Potential, potential suitors. suitors. Gloria, <laughs> as I would go to DC, but I never really. Okay. I'm I, I'm passionate. I'm talking with passion because she just happened to come here, and I want to credit her. Gloria, I want she, to give. Are you still in Uganda? She's in Uganda. All right. So what I so did. By summer. By summer. Oh what my what God. I did, guys, and this is what yeah, I want yeah. to finish. This, it, it wasn't in the mix, but this is yeah, she's everything. Yes, yes. Let's talk about when, it. When when I met when Abu started asking me out, I I had to take him for inspection. Gloria, you are the inspector. I took Abu <laughs> to DC all the way <laughs> for Gloria, my friend. Because Gloria was married, and I have visited, I had visited Gloria a couple times. So that was your. And the husband was; they were the model couple. Yes. For me. So that's what you were seeing, and yeah. you're like, okay. Wait, Ryan. Mm -hmm. uh, we're about to finish. I, if I ever find a man that I like, I will take him. And let me tell you, that was everything for me. So and I Gloria approved me. I, I'm a <laughs> So I took Abu to DC. For inspection. The one thing I asked See, you, I, didn't, I didn't even know I was being inspected. I took you. Me the one DC thing I tried to beg enjoy. you to remove was your earring, which you refused. I didn't want Gloria to see the earring. Yes, yes. Because my brothers were already having an issue with the earring. Yeah. And, and and to us, earring, that was, that was, was a fashion. It was fashion, but I didn't no, understand that. Happened. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> the reason why I want to really talk about Gloria is because when you're looking for a spouse... It's good to involve other people, not just you. Yes. So I drove Abu to DC for the weekend. And my God, I pulled you from your friends. Yes. It was not easy. It was not easy. It was a cold trip yeah. to Washington. And then when we got and we there... we were trying some things. <laughs> we, were not tr we were not sexually active. Yeah. So, I, so it was I an went, issue. I went there so I could get a little leverage. He came leverage, to get something. Leverage. <laughs> And when we got there, <laughs> Gloria pulled me to the side and she said, are you going to sleep together? <laughs> I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, he looks like a nice guy. I don't think he's going to do anything. Uh, this is a true story. My God. So we, Gloria made a bed for us. To you know, you to... <laughs> Gloria, he tried, but I said, no, no, we can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I said, no, 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 no. And you know, I had you taken him kwa, kwa apartment. for inspection. <laughs> Gloria. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah, yeah. God. It's amazing that you're here. And guess what? Gloria approved you. Mm -hmm. 
she told me Mako Makofi a kilo to Gloria and by Sama. And by Sama, Makofi a kilo. <laughs> they they did an interview for you. We went out, we went to the club together. You know, even them they did have kids. Yes. We yes. hung yeah, out we had, together. We, yeah, we went out. We spent a weekend together. Yeah. Because it we was went, a long holiday. We went, I think, on a Friday, Thursday or Friday, we mm. went we until Monday. Mm. And we went to the clubs. <laughs> um yeah, Ross is laughing mm. that I told you to remove the earring. I mean, this earring thing had already become a problem. My family had declined. Uh, that, that's not what we shall go do. Born city, we know. We, mm. city, we, are, we, are, we are in the fashion. We are the fashion. Gloria, we, we owe are you, the fashion. We owe you a trip when we come. To and Gloria, yeah, we've, we've come home a couple of times. Park. We didn't get a, uh, a chance. This so time, we had, last time we had said we were going to Uganda, but we didn't, we didn't work it. out. So anyway, so Gloria, Gloria and by summer inspected Abu for me. And by the time I left DC, they approved him. But the thing is, <laughs> when, when they approved him, on the way back, he was offended that he didn't get sex. I I can say that <laughs> with your permission. So when I Listen, dropped him off, uh, hold on, first of when all, when I dropped him off, it was like over. You know, you never yeah. called me for some time. Because I was like, I'm going all the way to DC. <laughs> me, Bon City. Listen, the, the way we were brought up. I'm not, not brought up. The environment. The, the way we used to live. Ukitolewa. Nairobi muende maali macha. I have to say that story. So, I had to say that story. For me to uh, live... Uh, New Jersey and your with, friends. Yeah, and Central Jersey. Weekend. We are going all this way. Yeah. Of course, coming back, I was... Oh, you were upset. Oh, yeah, I was upset. I mm. mean, and then here's the funny thing. Yeah. So I didn't know, although mm. now you've told me, you've, yeah. you told me later on about it, yeah. and you're talking about it here now. Yeah. I didn't know that I was going to be inspected. Yeah. I didn't know it was part of an inspection. Mm. You know, men, we don't, we don't, the only time we take you out to our guys is to show you off. We're not... We're not going to that inspection. No, just when I me pata kidumpia, and we, we will display you to our friends. Yeah, we don't want. We we're not asking our friends should I marry? Ah uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. We are young. Gloria had key questions, and by summer they were inspecting you thoroughly. They inspected so I you thoroughly. I passed. You passed, yeah. and they approved you. Thank you. You see, ah, Gloria. You see, she says yeah. she remembers. Yeah. We they were watching. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we went we went to the club and we and I, I think I was funny and I was uh, <laughs> and you know she came to speak to our wedding. You know Gloria Yes, yes, yes. yes. This we, is the this is the she lady. She was she was a cake, you do call that what, what, when you're about to cut the cake. Yes. Gloria, thank you so much. You came to our wedding. Yes. And you talked about meeting us for meeting me for the first time you mm. already knew uh penny yeah so and you know what we kept doing so men, we kept listen going guys sometimes you are being inspected and you don't know no we kept so, going to dc oh yeah, they, out they, of they our, our group of friends how we survived this marriage in fact they are the reason we survived the marriage because yeah we they were more than a couple to us and we used to go and visit them even after often. that yeah, yeah. Often. by the time they got their baby when, when, when they had their, their, their son, we kept going. We kept going. Yeah. And they were, so it's always, it's always good, I think, to have to a have couple that is uh, an modeled. older, mm -hmm. older couple mm -hmm. that can model for you. Yeah. yeah that, that's very important. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. that, that was my story. Ah, Gloria, Gloria thank you thank so you for much. Coming. Yes, it was, I had to push that story in. Um, and but why, listen, if you're driving, this is for men. Mm -hmm. Go all the way to DC and come back without something. <laughs> Abu. Ooh, ooh, you have to you have to be yeah? I, I have kept myself for a nice guy and then I just go throw myself to somebody. I don't know who is good for me. How yeah. many gay men are we going to test? Mm -hmm. You are the you are not the only applicant. Mm -hmm. There were other, other applicants. Yeah. But so, this applicant I come back when you the part of you know it's like it can go and change <laughs> Gloria. To get to you. <laughs> Gloria is like, Penny, mm. do I put you? I Separate said, me. Yeah. Okay. I said, no. Surpass the of sun. Course. I said, And then at that the time, my, my hopes were well, very high. Ah, very high. Like, <laughs> to be put you a bed. So always find a couple that can model for you mm -hmm. or who've been there. And Gloria and Baisama were that couple for us. And, mm. and they really helped us a lot, yes. you know. And we, we thank them. Thank you, Gloria. So we owe, we owe you a trip to uh, Uganda. We will go to Uganda. Welcome.
to see the kids. You know, their kids are old now. Yes, and even after they had the kids, my God, we went to visit. This is for another day again. The way they were passionate about their child. Yes. We went to visit their oh, child. It oh, it was my son. Was my summer. <laughs> Hold it away for two minutes. <laughs> he would take the baby uh, away. Ah, uh, bring back the baby. <laughs> if the baby goes like, uh, uh, the father will take. So yes. even after they became parents, we, we kept going. They were very passionate about their kid. Their child. Yes. Be co-parenting. Yes. If the baby will cry, by summer will jump up. Like by summer was so oh he was so helpful to Gloria. He would make mm. the food. Mm. We watched them take care of you know their child. Mm. And then they used to have those date nights where somebody watched their baby for mm. them and they mm. went places. Yeah. So th that really helps the young couples who are starting now. Yeah. Guy, can we say the Lord's Prayer? Yeah, let's finish this. Let's say the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. That was long. Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Um, hey, we've done more than one hour, yeah? We talk openly. I always want to remind people it's our story and we are not um, in any way feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. Talking about our story. No, it's it's a reality. You know, some people are afraid they don't want people to know anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't 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 bring your dirty laundry completely out. Yeah. All right, guys. What are you writing? Mm -hmm. Let's finish. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. We will see you next week. Mm -hmm. We will have a good topic. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Ah 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 ah. There is emojis, there is emojis. Oh, yeah, we'll have to emojis. go back and look at them. Yeah. Let me... Um, I wanted to pin the YouTube channel. Also, you can put the website for the... Although, this, this people, most of them are in Kenya. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're done here. We will... Um, See you next week, same time, same place, and... No, I'll do it later. Oh, Guys, cheers. Time.